So we have the eye cream that I'm using during the day. This is the Natural Instincts Dark Circle Wrinkle Correction. And I am down about here. Again, this was one that was in a project last year. But we are down about there now. Um, we have... I actually finished the serum I was using during the day this morning. So um, no point putting it in this video. Um, we have my day cream, which is currently the Garnier Ultra Lift Complete Beauty with SPF 15. And that is where we currently are. Not a huge, huge amount left in there. Um, there's this daily moisturising lotion. I've been mainly using it on this arm, which has like this terrible rash thing going on at the moment. This is the Aveeno Daily Moisturising Lotion. This is just a sample, and it's down about here. I have to actually store it upside down because it, um, it's starting to get harder to come out. I have this bottle of Micellar. This is the Asano Rose Hip. It's quite nice. Um, I think I still prefer the Garnier one. Um, but yeah, I need to work on this one. I have my Garnier Skin Active 2-in-1 Express Eye Makeup Remover. As you can see, there's not a huge amount left in here. This is one of those bi-phase ones. But I've been using this for quite a while and um, it takes off eye makeup, which is what you want it to do. So yeah, I need to get that one finished off. Um, and onto other types of skincare, as in my hands and nails. This little tubey thing here, this is a little water pen that you use for art, but I have cuticle oil in there. And that is a combination of jojoba oil and rosehip oil. So I will mark both of these um, so you can see kind of like the progress. It's mo mainly the jojoba oil in here. And the hand cream that I'm currently using is the Lacura Indulge Luxury, Luxury Hand Cream, which is um, strawberry and blueberry mainly. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice enough scent. It actually smells quite floral, which is weird because um, it probably shouldn't, but um, yeah, so that is that. So there are the things that are currently in rotation and then to work on. We have my massive backstop. Well, it's not that massive, but it's pretty massive. So I have two more Lucura hand creams. Uh, one of them is in Paradise and one is in Enchanted. Paradise is orange peel and papaya, that one, and uh, Enchant is lotus flower and pink grapefruit. I'm probably going to love that one. So I have those two to use up. I have a Victoria's Secret Passion Struck Body Lotion, which is uh, Fuji Apple and Vanilla Orchid, in case you're wondering. I have this Wild Fig and Pink Cedar from Grace Cole. I have a Orchid Amber and Incense from Grace Cole. These are like two, nearly 250ml ones, so they're going to take a little while. If I put them in the bathroom, they probably take a lot less. I actually have another one in the bathroom, in my bedroom as well. I can't remember what the smell is, but... <coughs> It's currently in rotation and it should have been included here. Um, I have two of these five star hand cream. I have Rose Garden and Shea Butter. I need to get through. I have an Eau de Toilette from Victoria's Secret. This is Lemon Escape because I like the citrus things. I have two I Love Peachy Passion Fruit Body Sprays. Two of those, they're only like the small ones. Um, and I have two of the I Love Lemon Sherbet, but I only have one on me at the moment because I'm not sure where the other one is. But I do have another one of these that um, has actually got usage in it. So again, another thing that's currently in usage. 
I have the Ombra SPF 50 Plus Day Defense. This is the tinted moisturizer. I've used up one of the untinted ones and I quite liked it, so I thought I'd try the tinted one. And then I have from Lacura the Dynamic C Vitamin C Booster Serum. Um, as you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the box. I don't even know what it actually looks like. And then I have the Hydrating Day Cream with SPF 15. So that is kind of like the uh, creams back stock. Um, that, that's basically all it is, is like lotions and stuff like that. Um, there's also a pack of lip balms in here, but they are counted in something else. And then I have this one. This one is a lot of um, sample type stuff and masks. So um, I have two SunSense anti-aging SPF 30. These may well get these may well get passed on because I'm not 100% sure if I like these or not, but I can't remember. I have an Ole Complete SPF 15, which is generally what I was using before I suddenly decided I was going to try 101 different things. Um, I have a Domaine de Cappuccini uh, Hydro Mattifying Cream Gel. This came as part of my award for being top student of the year at my beauty school. Um, so this is step three. I also have step one which is a mattifying foam cleanser and step two which is a refiner essence so basically a toner they need to be used i have a cetaphil gentle cleanser a small Suntivity 50 plus i didn't like the 30 plus one but this one is not really running like the 30 plus one is, so I might actually like that one a lot better. I have a little pawpaw oil, a pawpaw ointment, which I should probably use on my arm. That would be a great way of using that up. Um, I have a Derma E purifying 2 in 1 charcoal mask. I've actually used this before. It's okay, it's just super duper messy. I really need to use it. I have the Cosmetic Kitchen. Raw chocolate clay mask. It's one of those ones you have to like mix with water in order to use. Let me see, something got stuck there. Um, I have a Lily and Beauty clean purifying cleanser with Indian gooseberry and geranium oil. <laughs> um, samples from sample boxes. Lily. I have another Sunsense. This is the Sport. SPF 50. Um, this is clearly more like. Oh, this one's actually a roll on. Cool. I have another purple ointment. Um, these are sealed up, so they're fine. The purple ointment ones. Um, I have an elf lip exfoliator. This is the mint one. This has not been started. I'm currently working on another one. The Innis Free Super Volcanic clay mask. It's just a little one. I just haven't got around to using it yet because again, it's kind of messy. I don't need to use that. I have a Sukin hydrating facial mask. Um, this has got pineapple and papaya extracts in it. Is it sealed? Ah, it's sealed. That's fine. Um, yeah, so another one that I have to use up. There's lots of masks in here, trust me. Um, I have this little perfume body oil I've had for ages. Um, it's in the scent Naughty or Nice. I don't even know whether Butt Naked Boutique actually exists anymore even. I'll have to ask my friend who owns it. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, I have this cacao brightening mask from Wonderucci. This would have come in a Mimi box um, and I haven't been getting Mimi box for ages which gives you some idea how old it is. Um, it should still be fun. We'll see. See, some of these things, I might actually get decluttered when I actually go to use them. Um, I'm not very good at decluttering, mainly because if I declutter too much, I feel like I have to go out and buy stuff to replace it. 
So I generally declutter as I go. I find it's more successful that way. I have a couple of packs of pore strips. So I have a Biore one and I have um, this other one which came from Dezo. This one has actually got chin and forehead strips. This one is just the ordinary nose strips. Sometimes they get stolen by other people in the house, so they should they should go. Uh, this little packet thing here is a hand spa. I think it's just like a hand. It's an antiseptic towel. I should probably put it in my handbag. I'd be more likely to use it. I don't know what that is doing in there. All that. Um, I have some hair care stuff in here, but hair care is not my focus, quite honestly. Um, I have this Versace perfume. This was in a project last year and never got even got touched. This is the Crystal Noir. It's got the coolest looking packaging. Like, the bottle is like super duper cute. It's a nice little, cute little pebble. Um, yeah, I need to try and wear perfume a bit more often. Just, just for the fun of wearing perfume more than anything else. Um, yeah. So there's that one. I have a Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream. Again, this one have come in a Mimi box. I haven't caught Mimi box for ages. Uh, this is just supposed to be a moisturizer, uh, basically, from what I can work out. Um, and it's got, uh, it's supposed to be all skin types, and it's got snail mucus in it. I always have wonder how they collect the snail mucus. Like, is there some guy walking along with like a little shovel behind all the snails? I don't know. <laughs> I have this Bioderma Sensibo mask, which I should just... I think I used this once. Um, this is like a moisturizing mask that you just put on after you've done all your cleansing and then wipe it off and it's basically a moisturizer or something. I don't know. I have this... Uh, Sassy and Savvy Vitamin Enriched Facial Recovery Mask. Again, another mask. I have two of these BB masks from Dezo. I've actually used one. There was three in this initially. It was okay. Um, masking is one of those things I really want to try and do a bit more of. I have this, which I'm pretty sure is a mask. It's, it's called Prep. I'm going to have to look it up because there are literally no instructions on this. But it feels a lot like the Cosmetic Kitchen clay one. It's like a powder in there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, one here that I think I'm just going to declutter. Um, my mum got it for me, but it was years ago because it was when she went to New Zealand. And that was fucking ages ago. But it's... Um, I'm not sure, because it's still it's still slightly gooky. I might still be able to use it. That, that one might have to be one of the first ones they use. It's the Rotorua Natural Mud Mask. Yeah, I think it's just dried out a bit. Probably if I add a little bit of water to it, it'll spruce right back up, because it is clay, clearly. Um, <laughs> I have two more lots of masks from Dezo. I have the Coenzyme Q10 mask. There were there's three in here. Have not opened it. And then the collagen face mask. And there are three in this as well. And I have not opened this one either. I have this weird thing, which I am again going to have to look up. It's a gel that detoxifies the skin and um, it looks really weird it's literally a mask with a serum thing
Um, yeah, so I have to look up instructions. And then I have um, a whole bunch of samples. So we have the uh, two Aveda intensive hydrating masks, like just little single-use ones. And these little serum-y type things from Monoderma. If you watched my project last year, you've seen those ones. I have this Luxie. Oh wait, no, never mind. That was a hair one. Forget about that one. Don't worry about that one. <laughs> I'll do one here. Let's just move a couple of hair things out of here. All right. So I have this pile of things. First of all, I have the Christian Lacroix Rouge Eau de Buff Parfum. It's just a little sample thing. I should just hurry up and use it. Um, I have a twin pack of the Avon Nutra Effects Hydration Gel Cream. Um, this would have to be used at night because it doesn't have an SPF in it. Okay. Um, the Marine Miracle Facelift in a Jar, which I'm pretty sure is a serum. It's a treatment. The Lip Volume, these are both from Transformulas. A Nutramedics Moisturizing System with Hyaluronic Acid Rhubarb Root Extract. Just a little sample. Apparently you only need three to five drops, so this would be a serum as well. A uh, Long Vita Light Eye Mask. Another eye mask, this is from Eye Shots. A Body Shop Tea Tree 3-in-1 Wash Scrub Mask. Hmm, interesting. A Sukin Plur Purifying Facial Mask. This is a Kaylin Clay one. A Rise from Beyonce Sample of Perfume. A Nutramedics Energize Night Rescue Cream. A Lavira... Um, what is this? Firming Day Cream. Another little sample of Pawpaw Gel. Uh, Madura Ultimate Facelift Day Cream. An Eslaw Chlorophyll Lifting Mask. And finally, a Eye Pro. Um, they're apparently a straight edge for eyeshadow. Um, like you put them on when you're doing your eye makeup and they're supposed to help you. Pretty sure sticky tape would work better. Um, but I'll try them out anyway. And then finally I have the last of my Lacura samples. I have... Just let me check. I have... Whoa! I brooded them around. I have two power serums. I have two lift serums, I have two moisture serums, and I have two refine serums. So that is basically, I'm going to do my best to try and use up as much of this as possible over the next 12 months. Um, so that then I can just like focus on just having the skincare stuff that I actually want to be using. Um, I've actually decided that after the next Bella Box, which is this month's Bella Box, that I will actually be cancelling that so I don't get any more um, samples until I've got this under control. So it might be like 2019, I might revisit it, but at this point in time, I will be not doing that anymore um, after the next one. So. Yeah, that is my intro for the Skin Is In project pan. Everybody else involved will be linked down below, including who came up with the idea for this and the Facebook group. So if you want to go and check everybody else out, that would be really great. I will be updating this once a month to show what I've actually used up um, and how I'm progressing with the other stuff. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and skincare type videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!